Alright Troops, welcome back to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father and I'm happy to say I'm going to be doing a request for a brand new patron, Cortina Ward, um, who's now living behind enemy lines in the concrete jungle of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Um, and she's a Flames fan, like myself. Absolutely brilliant. Go Flames, go. As I said, that's why um, she's, I was saying she lives behind enemy lines. The Oilers and the Flames, bit of a rivalry there. Battle of Alberta, absolutely huge in the hockey world. But anyway, thank you very much, Katina, for the request. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing this one because I've done quite a bit on um, the American military lately, but another one of our brilliant allies here in the UK is our Commonwealth uh, country, Canada. Absolutely beautiful country, lovely people, and of course they've been involved in the modern conflicts. Um, for, well, a lot of the conflicts that the UK has been involved in and indeed the United States and this video is the US media tribute to Highway of Heroes it's something they do in Canada but it's the US that's covering it um, I'm looking forward to it but before I say anything more, or do anything more sorry if you'd like a personalised video request and shout out please check out our Patreon account in the description section below like Cortina did and follow the tiers to do that or you can simply join the channel on YouTube um, and check out the perks of what, on, on the different ones on how you can do it as well. Um, the link to the original video will be in the description section below as well. Um, all of our other stuff and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and put the bell on. So anyway, no more talking. Let's go. Now to the holiday observance upon us, Veterans Day. Since the start of our nation's dual wars, we've not been allowed to see much of our nation's returning war dead. Their arrival back home and many of the services tend to be private. That is not the case to our north in Canada. Our two nations, of course, have a rich history as allies, including both world wars. And now a number of Canadians have chosen to mark their war dead in a very special way. NBC's Kevin Tibbles has more. As an ally in the war on terror, Canada has lost 97 soldiers in Afghanistan. A military ceremony welcomes each fallen fighter home. Then the family accompanies the body for a heartbreaking 100-mile drive to the morgue. It is along that stretch of highway that a grassroots phenomenon has risen out of a nation's grief. Wow. To see thousands of people on bridge after bridge after bridge, I hope that they know that they're not alone. Right. Photographer Pete Fisher right. noticed something on the if bridges you, uh... and started taking pictures. Ordinary people, some saluting, some waving flags. Often parents bring their children. Here by word of mouth, waiting, sometimes for hours. There was one rusty brown truck before a bridge, and it was a father and a son, and they were, the son was maybe 15 years old, standing, touching shoulders, Tall as could be, in the back of that rusty brown pickup, both saluting as my son went by. They saluted for my son. Each time Darlene Cushman enters the Legion Hall, she kisses a photo on the wall. Her son, Daryl, killed by a roadside bomb. You wear these every day? Every day. Along the busy road now called the Highway of Heroes have wow. been firefighters from the town of Coburg. It's in the dead of winter. It's cold. It can be some day, sure, and wet and miserable. We don't mind. It's, it's the least we can do. Darlene Cushman remembers every single moment of that awful trip. Those people that stand on that highway here, there, there, is, there is no words. Or there, I wouldn't, you wouldn't have enough film, and I don't have enough time to thank them from the bottom of my heart for respecting my son. What everyone hopes is that they will never return to the bridges to await another soldier's return. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, near Coburg, Ontario. We will be thinking of their losses and our own and all those who have served this Veterans Day 2008. And that is our broadcast for this Monday night. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We, of course, hope to see you back here tomorrow evening. Good night. Wow, that was powerful. Whoa. 
what a tribute that is, and it's just brilliant to see so many strangers, so many civilians getting out and paying their respects to people who defend their country, defend their freedoms that we just take for granted on a daily basis. These men and women going out to these conflict zones, um, risking their lives, giving their lives for these liberties. Um, but it's fantastic to see, particularly for the mother of the the young soldier who passed away in the roadside bombing. Um, it must have been such a touching tribute for her. I don't know if it's something that she knew was happening, or it was a new thing before that, or whatever, or this was just the first time it happened, but what a turnout, what a mark of respect. It's absolutely brilliant to see such a love um, given towards uh, the forces in Canada there. Um, near Ontario, the mother was deeply moved, of course, talking about your lost son is never going to be easy anyway, and seeing her kissing her hand and putting it up to his photo in the Legion um, was a very emotional thing to see, um, her heart breaking like that there, but you could see how much um, gratitude she had for strangers just coming out, particularly those firemen as well, who are standing on the top of the bridge saluting, possibly in the snow in the dead of winter in Canada. I'm not too sure, it could be minus 20 odd in Canada, but they say it's the least they can do it, and I, do I totally get that. If you're seeing soldiers passing through, you do not want them to be not getting any sort of uh, respect paid to them as they make their final uh, trip on this earth. Uh, home uh, and it being lined for miles like that is just breathtaking and the fact that it's now been renamed I don't know what that was a number maybe it was a highway 50 for all I know I don't know just a guess but like for it to be now renamed Highway of Heroes because this is the journey they all have to take presumably from the airbase once the soldiers come in um, and they all have to make that drive and the families in that in that um, convoy of cars and stuff like that as well and all the flags going, young ones getting brought up the right way, children going with the flag and um, with the heroes on the bridge, people saluting and um, taking time to pay their respects is absolutely brilliant. I welcome that every single day of the week. Um, it's such a beautiful thing. As I say, just strangers, just showing their respect and their love for the families that have lost loved ones and indeed the soldier that gave his life to defend your freedoms, your liberty, liberties um, and his country. Dying, his death um, will not be in vain. People will remember what he's done uh, and she's got that moment now as well that will live with her forever. Getting to see that with her own eyes must have been really, really um, a, ni a nice thing anyway. Or, uh, such a lovely thing to see, even in such a hard time. Thanks very much, Cortina, for that request. That actually got me there. It was only a short video. There was no music to get into yet. It was just her talking, just seeing her breaking up. And even the reporter's chin, I could see it wobbling a little when he was talking just... Love the fact that they showed so much respect and it just, it makes, it's just such a good thing to do um, and you can see them struggling to talk about it so it just brings out the best in humanity as well sometimes, um, sorry you see the best in humanity sometimes in such tragic events such as that but anyway, look, thanks very much for the request, if you've got, uh, any anybody wants to get a personalised request like Artina did, Check out our Patreon in the description section below and follow the tiers on how you can do it or just simply join the, the channel, the YouTube channel, on my channel page there. Hit join and follow the perks on how you can do it. Um, the link to the original video, as always, will be in the description section below as will all of our other social media stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and put the bell on so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Thanks very much and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.